Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and it is my privilege to introduce to you the new inductees of the Michigan High School Football Coaches Association, the class of 2012. Coach Tim Becker. coached for 23 years starting his coaching career at Onstead High School in 1989. He is presently the head football coach at Canton High School and has been there for 14 years. Coach Beckler's biggest thrills in coaching. The two biggest thrills were turning two struggling programs around. A frustrating process. Changing the culture, the work ethic, and the teaching that and teaching them to win was a challenge. There is that aha moment when you know your kids finally get it. That moment is when you beat a team that you were not supposed to beat. There is no better feeling. Playing in the state championship game at Ford Field in front of 38,000 people, that was pretty cool too. Ladies and gentlemen, the newest member of the Hall of Fame, Coach Tim Beck. Thank you. I'd like to thank the uh, Michigan High School Coaches Association and the Hall of Fame Committee for voting me in. Uh, there's a lot of special people here tonight. It's my honor tonight, but uh, I want to thank all of you that are out there tonight uh, for what you've done for me to get here. Uh, first of all, Steve Robb, you're a great friend, great coach. Uh, uh, thanks for nominating me for this. Uh, the entire camp coaching staff, you guys are out there, I know it, and the hundreds of players that we've coached, um, you know I wouldn't be here without you guys, thank you. All the behind the scenes people, like my bosses, booster club members, secretaries, put up with me because, you know, football's a year-round sport for me, and I try to make it that way for you too, so thanks for putting up with me. <laughs> My nephew, my in-laws, and all my friends that are here tonight, uh, thank you for all your love and support. My sister Jody, would you stand up, Jody? You'd like a second mom to me. Thanks for not killing me when we were younger and he had every right to. <laughs> my brother Dave, he died in 1988. He was a football player and wrestler at White Pigeon. Uh, he made me, me and, and my older brother tough. My brother Jeff, stand up, Jeff. Um, Jeff was my idol, growing up seven years older than me. Uh, my best friend, he's a star in football and basketball at White Pigeon High School and I wanted to be just like him. Uh, he taught me how to compete, how to play, and how to hate to lose and I love you. Thank you. My mom, uh, always there every game. I had the greatest parents in the world, never missed a game. Um, you kept uh, our family calm, your calming influence on us all of our lives, knew what to say at the right time. Um, you kept me from getting too big for my britches. You broke quite a few fly swatters in my butt and drove them. <laughs> sure I had it coming to me. I love you. My dad uh, died a couple years ago. He coached me in every sport growing up, taught me patience and hard work. He's simply the greatest man I ever knew. I wish he was here. My sons, Brogdon, Lou, 14 and 12, you're great boys. I love you. You're tough little guys. You're, you know, when dad wins, you win. When I lose, you guys lose. And it's tough in our area growing up. <laughs> you have to deal with the Plymouths, the CCs, and Salem's. And uh, you're tough little guys. I love you. You're great boys. My wife, Julie, perfect coach's wife. Stand up, Julie. <laughs> My players love her more than they love me. Uh, she doesn't know anything about football, but she was an All-American soccer player and a Hall of Famer at Siena Heights University. Uh, she knows sports and she knows people and through, you know, 20 years of marriage, she's made me a better person, better coach. Thank you. Uh, 
my head coach, Adrian College, Ron Lavity, stand up coach. <laughs> now, Scott with the Miami Dolphins, uh, he's, he taught me preparation, uh, physical, mental, pushed us unbelievably hard. Couldn't believe how hard we practiced. Uh, but you know what, you made us champions. And I'm proud to say I played for you. And every time I take the field, there's a part of me, part of you with me. So thanks, Coach. You're still only getting three strokes on the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> My high school coaches, the White Pigeon, Marv Snyder and Pat West, stand up coaches, please. They're both Hall of Famers here. Uh, they taught me you can win big and still make it fun for your players too. Uh, I love playing for you guys and I cherish the memories that you guys help create. Every year that's simply my goal. I want my kids to have the same uh, environment, same opportunities, same memories that you help create for us because I loved it and I hope our kids love it too. And, Every time I take the field, you guys are with me. Thank you. Uh, coach Madison, the mission coaches, thank you for being here. I'll see you next week at the clinic. Uh, my boss is uh, Carrie. I might have to have a sick day next Friday, so I can go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it.